Hello friends, this is Mohan Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a walking crutch in Kitia V5. The completed design is right here and this is the uh, work which we are working on. And let's see what could be done in the next uh, here. So we have a particular sketch being created which I've shown you in shown you my previous tutorial. And just make sure that you are in the uh, part mode and you are under the handle over here. To make sure of that, just double click on the part body and once you're on it, the next thing you can do is to select the shaft command and select the sketch right here and uh, then for the, what do you say, the sketch axis, what you need to do is you need to have a particular line here. Concentricity with the circle there. Again, you can try the same thing. Select the plane, yeah. click on the sketch. create a point outside somewhere and then select the point and the circle and then go for concentricity and then select the circle and go for uh, axis line sketch is either over constrained or inconsistent so that's not what I expect okay let's try another method so another thing what you can do is you could try that you're editing this one. Again, select the plane. Go for sketch. And then create a point and constrain it. Select this circle, project it, and then constrain this point with the circle concentric and just select the circle and make a dotted line so that does an effect now you can come to the product mode and go for an update now what you can do is just select this point just make sure that you are in this product mode exit and then go for a wireframe and surface design and go for a line select this as your first line point and direction and select the direction as the uh, Y component and click on OK so the whole thing was to uh, create this kind of line over here which is concentric to this uh, particular hole right here now what you can do is just uh, select this line here and uh, switch back to the path mode and then go for the shaft command and 
select this as your axis so again come to the sketch analysis warning there is a warning crossing profile and point distance they say there is a crossing profile right here so let's find out where exactly we have the problem so this is the reason why it's not happening here so you could basically select the trim command and trim this part now exit now you can easily go for the shaft command and then select this as your axis click on ok that creates a handle you can always edit this handle by uh, coming back to the sketch so if you want to increase the radius you could always go for increasing it or decreasing it and uh, that's about the creation of handle and uh, if you have any doubt on this your feel yeah, I mean uh, feel free to comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you thank you so much for watching and I hope you're enjoying the tutorial and if you have any suggestions if you feel like I'm moving fast please let me know and uh, if you feel like I'm moving slow also please let me know and uh, uh, you know some people they find it very uh, very helpful that I'm making different parts of the tutorial and uh, my main motto of creating this tutorial is to help the beginners catch up with the software so I hope uh, the intermediates uh, get a little patient and uh, watch the tutorial thank you so much and stay tuned